version of Zoom. And so it timed out at one hour. He had tried to make me host and it didn't completely work. So I told Jetty, I said, I was trying to get, I, got, I, I had to go find the Zoom link and click back on it myself because <laughs> it kicked everybody out, including me. I was like, I go, if you're happy, <laughs> blank. And I was like, whoa. And I was like, it kicked me out. And Jetty's like, it kicked everybody out. So I'm hoping, Jetty, if you will go into the team page and maybe let anybody know she's back on. Also, maybe if anybody, if somebody that's in the alumni group that has something handy that they can say, the app, I mean, not the app, the Zoom is going. I, it flustered me. I'm using the wrong words. Yes, the recording, a reason it took me, the recording is okay. The reason it took me um, a second to get back on is because when my computer starts trying to convert a recording, it slows everything down. So I was having trouble getting back to my link and all of that. So I'm calm. I'm fine, everyone. That just really was like, what in the world? It felt like I clapped it like a clapper, clap on, clap off. That was super weird. Okay. Oh. So I, I want to run something past you guys now that I, I mean, I literally waited for the training before I messed with the app because I did not telling you that you should have, but my personality, I didn't want to be frustrated before I knew how to work it. Okay. And so I was like, I'm waiting. I'm going to be patient. He knows exactly how it works. All of these things. Okay. Um, I want to talk to y'all for just one second about manifestation you couldn't that you couldn't have asked for a better version of anything as far as i'm concerned for my personality and for this business it okay i was asked to step back from the dough app and i oh people i was like but 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 what are you sure because it had follow-up. I mean, it had all the things that you could have without being the company's app, right? And I'm like, we don't have this. Are you sure? And so I minded. I stepped back and I kind of left you guys high and dry and trusted. Okay. Trusted and man. Okay. Major. I feel like they, they delivered and they gave it a one, two punch. Really excited. Um, my thoughts were, my thoughts were that um, we should probably do, and tell me what you think about this. I'm going to have to develop it in my wheelhouse here. We should probably do a social media challenge like we've been doing that is centered around practicing because Okay, practicing because I believe that just like anything, just follow me here because I'm, I'm literally off the cuff right now. I believe that Facebook is scary until you try Facebook and then you go, what's the big deal? And then even when people say, I'm scared of it and you go, it's not a big deal, just do it, right? I believe that that's true for anything technology. And so if we're forcing ourselves and you say, I'm gonna do this for one week, Lori, and where I am putting together stories for your stories and putting together a uh, quality posting that's going to intrigue, right? And if I create a space that we're working on solely on getting used to, because I did it in an event, I'm going to have to figure out how to work this and not make it an event because what happened last time I had some trouble because it was inside an event. And I was having, I made it a private event, so it's not showing everybody the inner belly, right, of what we're doing. And I was having to add, okay, oh, uh, okay, somebody else is like, I need in. And I'm like, okay, I'm adding you in. It created more work for me. And I'm trying to create less work for me, I'm trying to create less work for everybody. So I'll figure something out. But what are your thoughts on creating a posting challenge that is all about what he said, peak interest, peak that's the word they're using, right? Peaking interest. So that the story says, you know, I'm ready, send me a sample. Or send me more info, send me a sample, right? Now, 
I want to talk to you about the money spent on the samples. First of all, we can do a posting challenge and not spend any money because we have free samples. Three credits, right? Okay. I believe with all my heart that if we, first of all, if you're spending the $5 on a sample, you're going to follow up. If you are, if you didn't, you might not. So I want you to make a bank inside your head, a space, a room inside your head that says the first bite that I get and that, that leads to income producing. So the first person that I use this app on and the app produces money for me, right? Because I did the follow-up, I sent the video, I did the things. That money, let's say you get a customer on it or let's say you get an ambassador on it, that you're gonna use either the points, if it's an ambassador, so you're gonna be like, I'm getting paid $17.50 a month on that one person, right? Or whatever it is. Or I'm getting paid whatever their actual preferred customer bonus might be or whatever, whatever it is, if it's coming in every month, it's residual, the app made the money for you in the begin with. And then you're gonna turn around and use that money every month toward creating more and more and more. There's not, it is not a lie that it takes money to make money. I mean, uh, there is not a business in the world that you can do for no money. I mean, photog I had a photography business that I ran solely off of Facebook didn't have a, a real, like a real website or anything like that. I did everything on social media, which made it free, except for I had camera equipment and all kinds of tens of thousands, right? So there's really nothing that you can do that's not going to cost you $5 here and $5 there. Pack out if, if you're going, okay, I want to play a game with myself. If you're one of those type personalities, and I, that's, this is me, this is my type of personality especially early in my plexus career, I would play a game with myself and I would say, I'm not going to do a such and such right now. I'm going to actually reserve that to, to actually toward another sample, another $5 sample. Um, whatever it is that I might normally do, I'm going to place that toward another $5 sample. Now, some of you are going to be like me and you're going to be like sampling people like crazy. I'm going to be like, boop, boop, boop. I can remember listening to Sonia Dudley do a thing one time where she talked about Oh, I won't get in my car or on an airplane without 10 samples. Do you think that's why she's a diamond? Yeah. And she looked at it like, I can't, you know, I don't have a meal out with me and my spouse for less than $35, $40 or, you know, a nice, I mean, you could go to McDonald's, but if you're not going to go somewhere on a date, she's like, if I take $35, $40 worth of samples with me everywhere I go, I don't, she doesn't use them all maybe, but she doesn't go unprepared. So if I create, um, this is my question, if I create a social media posting challenge that is centered around us practicing using this app and following up with the app and all this stuff, is that something you guys would be, you know, give me a 10 out of 10 or is this like, I don't know if I'm ready for that or where are we? Where are we on that? I need some feedback. Okay. Me too. I'm, um, I wanted to get feedback first because I'm like, I'll just use the app and do it my own self. If nobody, if everybody's kind of like, I don't know, I'm like, eat, eat, eat. I would really love to do it as a challenge because if there's something you've been waiting on, it's probably this, like, this is it. The app is all the things. And if it's going to keep up with information for me, I'm really excited about that. Um, what? All the, y'all, can y'all hold just one second? My sister's called me like three times. I'm going to mute myself. Just tell her I'm on a call, but in case she needs.
Sorry, turns out it was my niece on my sister's phone. That's why the multiple calls. If I would have answered the second time, she would have said, Aunt Sweetie, why did you not answer the first time? <laughs> so, okay, this would be, okay, so if you're gonna commit to this challenge, it's gonna be every single day for five days. I don't mean you're sending something every, uh, sending a sample every day, you might, but I'm saying every single day for five days, you're gonna be posting on social media, maybe more than five days, but for five days, I want your commitment to post on social media, stories, all of that good stuff. We've already been doing it. It's just a continuation of what we've been doing. I just have to come up with more content, which it's okay. We can do it, right? <laughs> I'm going, oh my gosh, feel responsible for everything. Um, and now there's just a handful of us left that, that came back on after I clapped us away. Does anybody have a question um, following anything that he didn't answer I can't promise you I can answer it, but I can try. Also, maybe also, does anybody have a question uh, about convention? And if you are able to type it, it helps me a lot with the stream, the flow of the recording of the video. If you can type your question for me, I can kind of read it while I, while I interact with you guys. And we, it's perfect that the other call was an hour long and all of that. And it doesn't have, it's not muddied up with questions so that when you sponsor a new person and they are like, I don't know how to work the app, you can go, here's a video. It teaches you exactly how to work the app. Okay. Okay. I don't know that. Do you know anything about paying for samples with Plexus wallet funds, Jetty? It would make sense that it would work. Huh? I haven't blocked credits myself yet, so I might have learned that. Hopefully, okay. I'll follow up. I'm assuming that that's going to be the way it works, but, or in some way, but. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And also you should be able to deduct the money that you spend on samples from your tax taxes. That's what Karen was saying. I agree with that. Um, fast track question. If someone signed up this month, when does their first calendar month start in the five month span? Yeah. Jetty, do you know this? He walked off. Uh, I think he walked back to his computer. Fast track question. Okay. Hey. Mm -hmm. I got a. Did he answer it? He's having me repeat it to him. I, it said, if someone signed up this month, when does their first calendar month start in the five month span? Becky's saying July 1st. Is that what you say too, Erin? Genevieve just posted in the Jules page that she was going to get a table, like lining it all out at the latest tomorrow. Um, okay. like I literally saw that notification when we got bumped off the call before I got back on. So if we don't have the answer, like right now, like a hundred percent, we you'll have it tomorrow. I think it's July 1st, but don't catch me lying. <laughs> don't catch me lying. Okay. Jetty said good. Cause he doesn't know the answer to that. So well, um, there's a lot of confusion. Yes. Once yeah. you know the answer to that, we will share it on our team pages. Okay. I believe, yes, that the reason they didn't call it one sample is because they were saying one credit equals two samples. So they're saying one credit. I'm answering Linda's question here. Can you explain the credits again? One credit equals two, two sticks of each. No, not each slim, right? Two sticks of the slim you choose, right? I think, yes. Uh, wait, Jetty's answering again. Jetty, unmute. Okay. It depends on what video you send. Send an AC video, uh, video and, they, and you offer a sample with it. When they say yes, that's the sample. That's the sample it sends. Does that make sense? So make sure you send the correct video in the first send place. Send the correct video in the first place. Good. And also, Karen shared that Jen Viev did say July 1st on when she was talking on Monday Motivation. We didn't watch Monday Motivation tonight because I really felt like this app thing needed to be covered so that we can get rocking and rolling on that. So uh, I do encourage you to go back and watch the Monday Motivation. I have not had a chance to yet, but it's good. Karen says it's good. Okay, that's good too. Okay, any other questions? <coughs> you? No, yes. Go ahead, someone. Okay. 
I thought I heard a, a pause or a like a, a, a breath, like somebody was about to say something. Uh, it's me, Christia. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm, I'm driving. I'm so sorry. I can't text. No, you're fine. Okay, so I scheduled everything to be off for convention physically, and so my weekend, I didn't get to watch it. So I'm catching up on it, but I'm only in the second session. Did I understand correctly that this is free to ambassadors? The app is free to ambassadors. Uh, okay. and, and anyone who registered for convention, if I remember right, gets three credits towards sending out samples. Okay, I did catch the credit part, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like the Doe app where we had to purchase. <clears throat> I think that was kind of the big deal as we were trying to make it uh, com the company it's a huge started. deal. Yeah, yeah, it's a and big deal. New people that sign up receive three credits. I mean, as someone who's been in it for six years, mm -hmm. this is what I've been waiting for. Yes. And uh, Jetty just said when new people join, when people enroll, they get three credits, which is awesome. I hope he's not lying to me because I just saw some jaws drop, so people didn't know that. I hope that's true. <laughs> I saw Linda go, oh. I can't hear him. I don't know why he walks off. Why don't he just stay in here with me if he's going to just keep walking back and forth? Okay. Okay. Becky says it's true. Jenny says it's true. Becky says it's true. Uh, okay. To answer, wait, I think he was calling uh, some, Trisha, she said, what was the Megaplex? I think he's call, calling the Mega Kids Megaplex. Uh, mega plexus, plexus, mega. You see what I'm saying? He's getting it because it's a stick, stick a s microbiome. That's not, but I get it. And for all I know, they may be going to call it megaplex, but I think that's what he was referring to. Um, is there another way to earn credits? If I had to guess, they will probably do contests and stuff around earning more credits. Now, you can purchase credits. Um, but as far as earning more credits, I'm, I think that would be, yes. Okay. Will the stock be available separate? Will the stock, I don't understand the question. Maybe, am, am I not, is it me not understanding that? Will the, I'll wait on you to clear me up on that. Okay. I wondered if the August 3rd thing that has to do with the triplex is going to be megaplex. My guess is megaplex is mega kids and he told us what the August 3rd thing is going to be. Did you hear it? Yes. It was, I wrote it down because I was like, out oh, there it is. Oop, there it is. Oh, uh, triplex sampling. <laughs> is that what he said? That is what he said, isn't it? He said, because in August, when we do the triplex, we're sampling for triplex. Did I misunderstand that? Someone tell me if I did or did, did not. Did he say gut health, Lori? Was it in a gut health sample system? That's how he said it. Maybe a gut health sampling system. Addie, because we got beauty, we have the, the three-day, whatever they call the, what is that one called? The slim, uh, the, the slim down, or the, yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, okay. And then the third one is going to be a gut health sample system. That's how okay, we can say triplex. Okay. Okay. Gut health sampling system, so it might not be triplex. It, the fact that he said August is what made me think because they're doing an, an announcement about the triplex in August. They said save the date. That makes sense? Hey, Lori. I'm just doing deductive reasoning. Okay. He yes. said why is going to add active for the sampling? And then he said, I thought he said the kids. I thought he said the meg, the whatever he, the term he used. I thought he said that it was the, the new kids one that was going to be For released in August. Yeah. That would make sense. Maybe that's what he's talking about in August. I don't, maybe that's, maybe that's what he meant. He said mm -hmm. gut health. Um, I have been, as soon as they said there's a save the date for an announcement about the triplex, all I could think was, no. 
what are you doing? <laughs> so when he said that, I was like, oh, that's what they're doing with the triplex. Don't touch the triplex. Leave it alone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know you guys all feel me like ultimately in all the big ways, right? So, <clears throat> so when Boy, they, I, good. I wasn't on when he said the hint, I was still participating in Taco Tuesday, my apologies, but I know that they have talked about the triplex sampling like before okay They've told us before okay. so i'm not saying that what the um becky or whoever just said that about the active that that's not what it is um and so i don't know well he said he i think he said that they would have active added as a sample possibility to the app in july i think <clears throat> And then he said he used the word megaplex, which I think he's calling, I think he's calling the kid thing megaplex. No, y'all don't think that? I'm just as confused as y'all are. Um, hey, watch this. Instead of guessing. He may be, um, I had the impression that he might be doing another call. Uh, <clears throat> so he may not be able to answer me right away and that's okay. But if, if I get an answer back while we're on here. Okay. Um, yes, and 10% off for next month would be only through the app. So you're not gonna be able to say, I'll just slide you a code outside the app. That is their way of forcing us to try the app out, which I love it. I think that's brilliant. The July promo is a secret. Okay, yeah, we're not supposed to be blasting any of that. Y'all, we were super, we had super favor over us by the fact that we were able to get in on the, the call. Okay, big favor. Uh, get him to do this for us, big, there was big favor on that. I knew it when, as soon as I saw that it was a possibility I knew that he would be inundated. And I was, it, when it said seen, it said one person. And I was looking at it. So I was like, this is me. Ah! And I'm like typing as fast as I can because I knew it was a race to see who could get on his schedule. So I'm just saying, so let's do be honoring of the fact that anything that they said was secret is secret. I mean, I mean, you can share, like my uncle Gene says, a secret is something you tell one person at a time. At a time, <laughs> tell someone, but don't tell the Facebook world. Okay, I don't care if you tell your people; just don't tell all the people. And no, that's not really what I believe a secret is. But in Plexus world, that's what a secret is, unless you've signed legal papers, and then it's literally a secret. <laughs> They're not joking around about their legal paperwork. Okay, anything? Okay. Do you get to post the link to Ryan's part? I have the link. Is that what you're at? The recording is that what you're asking about? Yes. It recorded to my computer. That's the only reason when he started saying that, I was like, I can't, I have to weep -a -doop -a -doop, and it recorded it to my computer. In fact, a minute ago when someone else was asking a question, I went in there and named it so it'd be real easy for me to find it and it'd be real easy for me to load it to YouTube. Okay. Do you get, to, um, because I have to watch it again. So I know, same. <laughs> oh, so you can figure, I know. <laughs> oh, thank you, Karen. Thank he you. was going so fast that my little pea brain was just like. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I knew, I knew that was like kind of a catch 22 because when they go slow, it's easier to absorb. And when they go fast, it's an hour video instead of a two hour video that you're sending to somebody. So the likelihood of them watching it and those youngins will pick up on it fast anyway. When you catch yourself a young one, they'll be like, they, in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if I could hand the app to my daughter and she would be sending out samples without watching the video. So there's that aspect of it too. Um, I am moving my app to my first page because, you know, when you put a new app, it usually um, oops, it usually uh, puts it, oh, not there. It tries to put it in any place except for, 
usually on one of your last pages. <laughs> I keep getting notifications because people are messaging me at the same time and it's not letting me put it where I want. There we go. So put your, if you don't know how to move an app, you got to hold it down if it, wherever it is. Put it, hold it down until it starts wiggling, wiggling, wiggling. And that tells you you can move it and then you got to slide it this way and a page and a page and a page and a page. And then you can move it up the page and you just don't let your finger off of it. And then wherever you've let your finger off of it, that's where it's gonna be. So in case that's a question, anything else? Okay. Um, uh, I think we're gonna, we're gonna do something here. I'm gonna turn my music on. I'm gonna pray over us. It's gonna be a brief prayer, but it's gonna be powerful. I'm gonna pray. <clears throat> I've been thinking about this a lot. I kind of brushed up, kind of brushed up against it maybe last call or the call before, I can't remember. And I felt like I didn't spend enough time on it and I'm not gonna to have to spend a lot of time on it. I just feel like you need to understand what we're doing. When you come into a prayer agreements with someone, I think it's way more effective if you know what you're agreeing with. So, so I'm gonna explain it to you really quick, <laughs> uh, a little better because I feel like I was not, I was a little neglectful with that before. So my intent tonight with this prayer is to break off the old season. And do you know the song about new wine? Okay. I think, well, I think I'm trying to decide how to do this, but I feel like the song really captures what new wine is talking about in the scriptures but it's really the concept that an old wine skin, if you're using an old wine skin the way that they made wine, and if you try to use an old wine skin to filter the wine, you get all the pollutants of the old wine in the new wine and it pollutes it and it's, it's, it makes it rancid. It's basically like, <laughs> you know, it's basically like, um, you can imagine if it's their wine skin, I think it's, when I've seen old wine skins, I'm like, wow, I wouldn't have known how they make wine. But the purpose of a wine skin is to capture, I would say, the, the pollutants, the, the grapes, you know what I'm saying, the stuff that's not supposed to be in the wine. And so that's still left on the old wine skin. Y'all are following me, right? That is still left on the wine skin. So when you try to, you're like gonna make a new vat of wine, and you pour it over the old pollutants, you're washing that new wine down through old pollutants. And so when it talks about a new wine skin, it's talking about breaking off the things that, if you're still dragging something and wondering what's wrong. Like if you're still dragging uh, an old lesson season and you're calling it, a hardship. Let's say you went through a really rough patch. I know this is very detailed what I'm doing, but God literally instructed me. You have to explain what it means so people will understand. Okay. So if you're trying to move forward from something that was a pruning season, okay. And if you didn't recognize it, the, the importance is of recognizing it as a pruning. Like, rather than, you know, you want to still cuss at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it almost killed me, right? <laughs> Whatever it was. Uh, I listened to a talk one time where the lady who, that they brought, I brought a, the lady to Plexus to speak to the jewels or the diamonds. I'm not sure. It was a breakout session. The lady who had created Little, Little Einstein. And she had created Little Einstein in her basement she had uh, all the videos that you know as the old school little Einstein stuff before Disney bought it. It was all her ideas, her, all the stuff. She created it. And then Disney came along and wanted to buy it from her. And so she 
sold it. After that, she got cancer, breast cancer. And she started talking about, when she started talking about her breast cancer, to me, that was the most interesting aspect of her talk. I was like, she cured herself. Okay. She ate right. She ate clean and she cured herself. And she said, some people who have gone through this journey will flippantly describe cancer as a gift because um, what it made me think of on a real down to earth level is if you've never gone through a major tragedy, let's say you lock your keys in your car and you lose an hour and a half of what you were supposed to go do. Like I was supposed to go pick up some milk, all these things. But if you lose an hour and a half of your day, you immediately go, okay, I lost an hour and a half and I'm going to streamline my 55 things that I think that I have to do down to four things because I have to pick up the pet's medicine. I have to get some milk. You know, I have, there's four things that I had to do. Tragedy makes you a prioritizer. So I'm just showing you a little glimpse, like locking your keys in your car is not a tragedy, but cancer, okay, is, cancer is a prioritizer too, because suddenly all the clutter that you thought was important, all the junk, all the stuff you go, well, easily, this is definitely not important. All the things, you know, like my brother's death did this to me. I'm just going to say this, like all the things and the striving, the things that put me in that place to where I thought my house had to look like Pinterest and it, and I felt like a failure when it didn't and all these things. Suddenly it was like, my eyes were open and I was like, none of that matters. Like none of it. Uh, serving people, loving on others. That's, that's what matters. My family matters. Not, not my gorgeous, whatever, my gorgeous kitchen, my gorgeous, whatever. It doesn't matter. So when she was talking about, I'm back to the Einstein lady, I'm bouncing a little bit, but when the Einstein, little Einstein lady was talking about cancer, she said, some people categorize cancer as a gift because it's like they get a new lease on life and they start going, I always wanted to go to Greece. That's important. I'm going to do it. I always wanted to make sure that my grandma had a storm cellar. She doesn't. I'm going to go build her one. You see what I'm saying? All the things that you would have put off. So she, then she said, I don't call cancer a gift because I look at a gift as something that you would put in a bag and give to someone and nobody really wants this. Then she said, I say cancer is a teacher. And she said, I learned so much going through the priority portion of cancer, the healing herself portion of cancer, and then moving forward. And then she went and created another company after her non-compete was over. She went and created another company as big as baby Einstein. And she had sold baby Einstein to Disney for 25 million. I think is what the word, the word on the street were, right? So now I'm telling you this story because we're talking about wine skin. If she had gone through cancer and kept come out on the other side of it mad and call and not called it a teacher, a gift. If she had come out on the other side of it mad, she would have been dragging old wine skin into the new. Did I explain that well? Like it made total sense in my head, but I know there was a lot of stories wrapped up in there. Okay. So when you're dragging the old into the new, it's like a sourpuss at a party. They walk in and you're like, oh, why did she show up? It's like the Debbie Downer. It's like Debbie Downer latched onto your ankle and you have to drag her around everywhere. Stop it. You know, like get off of my ankle. I don't want to drag you around anymore. So. There are things that you need broken off of you. And the thing is, this is a two participant party. I can command it be broke off of you. Holy Spirit will do it. 
it's a lot easier if you're not also still doing like just to it while I'm trying to break it off like you're holding on to it. Like, eh, and hold on to it. One last thing about it. This is so important. God's going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, this is so important. The reason people hang on to stuff in my best layman's terms is because they believe that they are protecting themselves from future harm or hurt. Like, they're like, I'm not going to forgive her because she hurt me so bad. And I'm going to keep my guard up and my wall up because I know who she is and what she is and all the things. And so when you're, you think you're doing yourself good by being like, you know what? Talk to the hand. You know what? I remember what you did. You're not saying these things with your mouth, maybe, or you might be, but you're saying these things with your body language and your spirit is projecting it. And you, you're literally, you think, have you ever sprayed something? Have you ever sprayed spray paint and you think you're just hitting the chair and then you look and the grass is turned, you turn the grass blue. You think that you're projecting this wall of rejection at the intended target, only to realize later that you painted the whole wall behind it blue because everyone is catching the wall of, re of I reject you first. No, 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 I reject you first. No, I reject you first. You don't have a chance to reject me because I already rejected you. Now, if you thought of a person that you know that's like that, just know that we all are to a degree. Like, there's a characterized person that you probably go, ooh, I know who that reminds me of. We all do it to a degree, so. I call this... I do break two training a whole one whole week is on this very topic and I call it the transition from survival skills into core values. Does this, the way I, does the way I do this, does the way I act, does it move me into survival skills? Like I learned to act this way as a child because I got rejected or I got hurt or does it, does it, if you look at it, if you examine the behavior, the, uh, the forgiveness, the lack of forgiveness, whatever, do you go, yeah, that screams, it's the future so bright, I got to wear shades, right? Like if you're hanging on to old and dragging it into the new, okay, I feel like now I'm released that everybody understands what I mean by breaking off the old season. And then now when we pray, you can choose to either agree with that or not. That's your choice. That's the beauty of free will, right? It's the beauty slash caveat slash beasting of free will. That is that it really comes back to you. So you may be, literally people get healed when they forgive. And you might be like, yeah, their heart heals on the inside. And then, and I'm talking about physical. I'm talking about, you know, gallbladder trouble or whatever and you're like what it went away when you forgave that's because you're dragging an old wine skin into a new season that is the lori harrison version the best i can do of understanding the harm you do to yourself and it may not be forgiveness forgiveness is the easiest to understand right it's the easiest because everybody walks around with a little bit of something something guarded, reject you first, no you didn't, you're not going to do that again, whatever it is, not realizing that you're spray painting the wall blue when you meant to get the chair, all right? So, I mean, I watched convention with a little bit of a tear because I will tell you the truth. I arm wrestled the concept of gut health being what we were labeled as, right? And so as it's appearing before me, I'm like, I want to go, it's happening! Oh, your friends! The shirts even say gut, right? Here's the, fu here's the fun part. 
I'm going to say this. I'm just going to say this. The misfits are the cool kids now. Okay. Once they agree with you, I don't really give an ish if I'm a cool kid or not. Never have. But it's fun when you can drag the misfit agenda into the real arena and everybody says, all right, we'll all play, right? I want to wear the shirts. I want to rock it. I'm ready, right? We get to rock it with everybody else, okay? I'm excited about that, and I don't want to carry any of, ooh, back off is trouble. Ooh, double charge credit cards, and ooh, somebody left, and then they made a big scene when they left, and they slammed the door, and you know, now they're out there doing all their thing. You got to leave all that behind. It's got to go, all right? And when I say it's gotta, I'm just saying, I'll do my part. You have to agree. Yeah, it has to be in your heart. I know that agreement can be with your mouth, but this one probably needs to be in the heart. All right. And that's probably what I'm gonna focus on while we pray. Father God, we just lift your name on high, Lord. We magnify who you are. The evidence of who you are is all over our company. It's all over our products. It's all over, now it's all over our training and um, our, our tools that we have been given. And we are so incredibly grateful. My heart is just ooh, with excitement about the future. And God, I don't want to drag any of the past with me. I am ready to be what you've called me to be, to be the new wine skin and make new wine out of me. God, I ask that you send your warring angels and your heavenly hosts to both take us off the enemy's radar and scramble the enemy's frequency over us and to break off any remnant, any residue of the old season and any agreements that we made with the enemy by living in unforgiveness. God, I want you to take that. I trust and believe that you're doing that as we speak. got to have agreements with a new heaven and a new earth and a future that's so bright that we're all wearing shades. God, I'm so thankful for an opportunity that can put family back in the center of our lives. If we're going to give eight hours to someone, let it be our kids. I am not in agreement with giving eight hours to someone outside my family. I'm not in agreement with my pets or who live at my house because I'm at work. God, I'm so grateful for a business model that looks more like fun than business, looks more like friendship, community, and helping people, serving others, than it looks like work. And God, I thank you for Plexus and every brilliant mind and servant heart that you've brought into our corporate headquarters. And we just ask that even more, even more creative strategies, even creative miracles, the ones that float in our midst, that those people <laughs> who are diligently working with hearts like Ryan Anderson, 
that they can reach up in the in the heaven in the heavenlies and grab and pull it down for plexus creative strategies creative miracles new ideas concepts inventions and even more ways to set people free and break the shackles off of them i want to thank you for every single person that that was part of our virtual convention behind the scenes or otherwise god that you would just bless them bless them bless them bless them and i lift all of this up in jesus name amen and i want to say that i'm so thankful to all of you I know that so many of you have been intercessors during a weird season that is over. And the trick to being an intercessor or any part of the inner workings of something is you get to see the, the stuff that needs to be 86 that, put that in the trash, right? Like you get to see it all. Like when Jenny was a board member, when I was a trainer, and then when you guys are doing intercessory work, so I'm praying every week over the stuff. And so that's why I believe it's so important that God's like, this is a new season. And it's important that your intercessors break the shackles or the disappointments. Let's just be honest. The disappointments of old season off of them so that they can walk freely into the future. Are y'all okay with let's listen to the new wine song really quick and then we'll, that'll close us out? Okay. Here we are. We've listened to this song on a call before. All right. Here we go. Hi, everyone. Hi. I'm here to share my story. I've only known superficial. Okay, I'm going to share. Maybe.
How's everybody feel? Right? Good. Uh, Marianne, saw your prayer request. I will message you. Definitely pray. I will definitely be praying over that and I will message you about it. Um, I'm going to call this recording good. I'm going to get it loaded tonight. God bless all of you. God bless. God bless Plexus. I don't know. They played that. They had somebody sing that at one of our conventions. They said, instead of God bless Texas, it was so cute. Okay. <laughs> God bless all of you guys. Good night.